Okay, this is my current trailer for hauling canoes, and I built this setup in 2010. It's 2021 now, and it's uh, I've replaced a couple of these landscape timbers because they're starting to rot. So I'm going to uh, we use this a few times a year, and we want to take it up the mountains. And we're gonna build a new frame for it. The metal just came in right there. Uh, we're gonna build an all metal, all steel frame. So I'm going to start by taking this off. I have a video on how I built this. If you want to build a wood one, but this is real heavy. Um, but it did last 10 years. I got about uh, I think $70 in it. Today's prices might be more, but um, I'm gonna take this off and then I'll show you what how we're gonna build this. Okay, so trailer is in the garage and uh, I cut all the cross members. These are going to be all the cross members. I was going to do them at 78 inches, which was what was my normal. Uh, this is what I figured out. This is off of a, um, a friend of ours. He bought one like this. And A, which is all three of these cross members, are at 78 inches. And then B, which is the uprights, are at 65 I cut those at 65. His trailer is the same, just about the same as his. Um, but I, instead of going 78 inches, I made them 90 because I haul canoes on this more often than I haul, um, more often than I haul kayaks. So I made them a little bit wider, and I ended up getting 20. Uh, well, this was all based off a of 20 foot. Okay, this, this is my, this is what I had figured out. I need six at 78 inches and here's, here's what uh, he texts me on all of this. You can see that. I figured it out that I needed um, three 20 foot pieces and then uh, I think one 12 foot piece, but I ended up getting 24 foot sticks. So I cut them, a, these a little bit longer because I had extra. Um, I still have a little extra since they're 24 foot, but I wanted to use the whole 20 foot piece. Um, so I could have extra anyways, I will. So these are 90, 90 inches. Uh, these and those are 90 inches. That is going to be the cross member, which he says, uh, the crossbar at the top, which is right there, C, is uh, 78 inches long. Or, or, wait, one crossbar at the top, 77 inches long. So, on this trailer, um, where I had the old A-frame mounted was here and at the back on the back side. So, it's going to crunch this in a little bit, which will be fine. Um, but I'm going to move that up and I'm going to have the uh, bottom of the A-frame sitting on a piece of inch and a half across and then it will mount to that bar right there and just be bolted on. So I, I don't ever plan on taking it off but if I need to it'll be four bolts, two in the back, two in, two in the front to take off. So and then I cut these, these are three inches, um, this is from the flat plate, I got ten foot of it, I still have another chunk right there that I'm going to use for uh probably the plate on the bottom or use one of these for the plate on the or the extra excess of this for the plate on the bottom i'll show you how i'm gonna set it up and start welding so i forgot to say uh this is a diablo steel demon um ha uh, recip saw blade i cut everything with that that one blade it did a great job um i'm sure it is a steel demon uh but I, I don't have anything special. I don't normally do this. It's just hobby stuff. So I cut it all with that and it did great. So for the couple bucks, buy that blade if you're going to try to do this on the cheap. All right, so I'm marking this out for the A-frame, which the lower, the wider part is going to be down there. The narrower part is going to be up here. And uh, I got 45, so I got five on each side down there. I have it at 45. These are 90, again, 90 across. So I did five inches on either side, so it's going to be 10 inches wide at the top and 20 at the bottom. Um, in this picture, you could see it's touching at the top. Um, I want it to be, 
I want it to be a little bit wider just to give more stability um, if you have weight on the top. So I'm going to do, you know, it shouldn't change the overall of anything. Well, I guess it's 20 inches there. Hmm. No, it, it'll still be fine. Uh, so what I got left here is 35 inches and most canoes aren't any wider than 36. You could put a double kayak on that easy. So uh, these are, this is what I'm going with. I'm altering a little bit. Here we are, I got this one welded up. I got the tabs on the end. Uh, I made two changes to this since the last part. I added this plate on the top to connect these two and what I'm gonna do, the cross member that goes from one side to the other, I will tie in right here. Uh, so it'll have, uh, it'll have a weld across the top, on the side, on the bottom. It'll, have, it'll be boxed in. And then I added that tube uh, to the bottom. Like I said, I was going to, um, that will end up fitting right here on the trailer and I will be able to drill holes down through and mount it right into that. So if I ever want to take this off, it'll be two bolts here. And once I move that up, it'll be two bolts up there and the whole thing will pop off. But, um, that's what it looks like so far. I got to flip it over, weld the other side, and then I got to do this whole thing again. I have maybe, I don't know, um, two hours three hours into the layout and everything in this it looks pretty good so far i'm happy with it uh i'm really excited i think it's going to be nice um so here we go one is almost done i got the tabs in the middle welded and drilled i gotta drill the tabs on the side um just so i can put ratchet straps through them and then uh i gotta drill hole in each bottom the second one is just about done um it's coming along i think it's gonna look nice uh it's not too heavy i could pick it up no problem um it's gonna be kind of high um i may on this trailer i may flip the axle because it's sitting uh, pretty far off of the off of i i never use this much suspension when we're going so I think I could flip the axle and lower it down two inches, three inches, and it'll make it that much more accessible. But so far, I'm real happy with it. It looks real nice. Here it is, almost finished. I did make a couple changes. So on the bottom, I had 14 inches um, instead of the eight inches that I, that I talked about earlier. Um, it was It made it way too high. I won't be able to get a canoe in and out. Um, or this in and out if I have a canoe on the top rack with it as high as it was So I it's eight inches from the bottom to the first rack um, again uh, it Makes it more manageable it makes it just uh, just so I can just It'll be easier to get things on and off. It's in white primer right now um, And I did put this so in the past It bounces real bad. So I put this cross member here to go to the tongue that stops it from bouncing a considerable amount um, yeah almost finished product we're gonna paint the black uh, black paint on a little bit later and this will be a complete project if you got any questions leave me a uh, message and I'll try to get back to you on it thanks for watching I hope this video helps you if it does please subscribe to my channel because that helps me and I appreciate it